fortunate to live in Palm Bay. I truly believe Palm Bay is the best city in the state of Florida because of the people who live here. That's you. All of you are the heart and soul of this city and what makes me so proud to call Palm Bay my home. Yes, we are the largest city in Brevard County and the second largest behind Orlando here in East Central Florida. But because of you, the people, we haven't lost our sense of community, our small town feel, our sense of neighbor helping neighbors and working together to get to where we all need to be. A driving, robust city with the charm and character of a home we never want to be far away from. The state of our city is one of change and transition. Our city manager, Sue Hunt, has decided to retire after serving the city with distinction for more than 17 years. Her years of dedicated service are credited with many successes, the most significant of which is leading our city out of the worst economic condition in recent history to where we are today, financially stable, well positioned for future growth and continued progress on infrastructure investment and strong customer service. As we see our property value starting to rebound, we are also seeing continued business investments which are strengthening our economy. As we search for new leadership, we say thank you to Sue Han for getting us here. While change can be unsettling, it can also be exciting as we embrace new ideas and new opportunities. We continue working together on our strategic priorities by building on the foundation for future growth and continue progress with our investment in corridor maintenance, e-government, communications, and our infrastructure. In this budget year, we have dedicated one quarter mil for road maintenance. This translates into roughly $675,000, a small amount, but a good place to start. We've also maintained our professional workforce, a group of highly skilled and dedicated professionals that carry out the mission of providing quality service to our citizens. We have so many reasons to be proud and thankful. 2014 was a year of significant progress that has positioned us to reach above and beyond our potential. I believe the state of our city is a journey that needs to be experienced through sight and sound. So once again, we are hitting the streets to see firsthand all that happened in 2014. More proof that we are moving forward with a great vision. Turkey Geek trial run, everybody. Best trial run ever. Woo! Yeah. We did it, Palm Bay. Here we are at the St. John Heritage Parkway. If you look to my south here, you see endless, endless opportunities. Endless opportunities for Palm Bay. We're not stopping here. It's about three miles from Malabar to Emerson. And within the next five years, an extension connecting all the way to Highway 192 will be completed. We are not standing still. Neither is Brevard County's largest employer. The Harris Corporation Palm Bay facility expansion is just about complete. The new technology center will be the hub for the company's most advanced engineering efforts. What this means to our city is huge. High paying jobs, spin-off jobs, an economic engine for our city and South Brevard County. We are proud to be partners. Along the Bayfront, we have continued the beautification efforts. In the next year, look for an installation of more than 100 street lights along the east side of US-1 from Robert J. Collin Boulevard to the South City limits. This will make US-1 a safer road for residents and visitors to travel and is part of our commitment to making Palm Bay a destination city. April, 
while Parks and Recreation Department worked with Viral Events, Inc. to support Run or Die Palm Bay, the most colorful 5K on the planet. Why is this such a big deal? Because this event doesn't just go to any city. Event organizers want to be confident of a worthwhile venue, and Palm Bay did not disappoint. Our Parks and Recreation staff has worked hard to make Palm Bay a destination city for fans of the great outdoors. And each year, the numbers of visitors and events continues to grow. With our first annual Turkey Creek 5K Trail Run, our Cycle Cross Competition, and our first ever partnership with Melbourne Regional Chamber for the inaugural Veterans Bass Fishing Tournament, to name a few. These events drew hundreds and showcased our beautiful trails, our sometimes more challenging terrains, and our world-class bass fishing venues. The increased exposure has created increased demand, highlighting a need for us to look at ways to create a special event venue, large enough to host future events. My name is Taylor Burke, and I am participating in the Juniors to Jobs program. I'm here for the Juniors to Jobs program. I am attending the Juniors to Jobs program. As part of our membership with the U.S. Conference of Mayors, we also partnered with Career Source Brevard and the Palm Bay Chamber of Commerce for our first ever summer youth job program. About 30 high school juniors participated in what for many was their first job. The program taught them financial literacy, responsibility, accountability, and how to function and succeed in the working world. Now, the rest of the country is looking to our city as a model for this program. Our efforts in economical growth yielded noticeable results in the last year. DR Horton's Brevard County headquarters is now in full construction and set to open in 2015. Inspired Living completed construction of a 58-unit senior living facility on Malabar Road and will open in 2015. Dr. Vishnu Patel of Medical Associates of Brevard opened the Fresenius Dialysis Center and families in Brevard County will now be even more connected to one of the largest pediatric health systems in the country. We talk about economic development in the city of Palm Bay and look, through the hard work of last year in talking with numerous children's hospital, we were able to get the numerous primary care here to the city of Palm Bay. These are a few of the successes that are paving the way for more jobs and continued growth in our city. 911 Duty Police Fire Medical. The leadership changes in our city are also impacting our police department. I am sad to say goodbye to Chief Doug Modoon, who served our city for more than 38 years. Chief Modoon is retiring this month and while it is well deserved, we will miss him greatly. Our police department continues to transition as our most veteran officers retire and the next generation of leaders and public safety professionals emerges. In 2014, 29 new officers join our team. The energy and passion they bring to the job is showing in the fact that our crime rate continues to be one of the lowest per capita in our region. The Florida Department of Law Enforcement Uniform Crime Report puts Palm Bay as the fourth safest city of our size in the state of Florida. We also managed to secure a million dollar grant from the Florida legislature for the improvement of our firearms range. This will help us create a first responder regional training facility that would undoubtedly be a boost for our local economy. Palm Bay Fire Rescue is also in transition. 14 new firefighters joined the ranks in 2014. This was mostly due to retirements. It has also changed the face of the organization as 25 of our rank and file personnel were promoted into new roles. In 2014, we reached a much awaited milestone when we opened Fire Station 6 in the city's southwest sector. This means our coverage in South Brevard is much more efficient. We were only able to do this through a partnership with Brevard County. We are now co-locating three of our fire stations with three county fire rescue crews. We accomplished so much together in 2014, not just in quality service delivery and public safety, but in giving back to the community in some very unique and special ways, like our Home for Warriors program. There's your key. Welcome home, brother. Welcome home.
the generosity of our community of more than 108,000 strong coming together to support this program is impressive and is why I love this city. We are passionate about caring for each other through campaigns like United Way, Relay for Life, the Mayor's Ball, Toys for Tots, and so many others. Whether it's a major event that brings people together or a cause, Palm Bay is a treasure. I'm both honored and humbled to be mayor of this great city. We have more to do in 2015 and beyond. Major new projects like the I-95 Southern Exchange, the Bayfront, the new road projects, new businesses, and new opportunities. I can't wait to get started. I, as we move forward in 2015, I wanted to bring you here to the Bayfront Redevelopment Area so you could see the opportunities that Palm Bay has into our future. And we need to continue to stress our future and moving forward, moving forward for progress and everything wonderful that we want to happen in Palm Bay. With that, I want to say to the residents of Palm Bay, thank you for having the patience and God bless you all.